Rejoindre sur scène l'ambassadeur d'Inde en France et à Monaco, Monsieur Jawed Ashraf. I'll speak in English. Namaste, bonsoir, good evening. To Mr. Thierry Fermo, who's of course not here anymore at the moment, Mr. Emmanuel Sprawell, Mr. Dominique Ruchon, Melanie Laurent, the very talented and dynamic Kadri Koo, and of course, the star of the evening, our great, we've just seen him here, Santosh Sivan. Well, thank, first of all, I'd like to thank Cannes Film Festival for this invitation and for making the 77th edition of the Cannes Film Festival a very special one for India. We're really back in this festival. I'd also like to thank you, particularly Anjanu, for celebrating and honoring the life and the works of the brilliant cinematographer, actor, producer, director that you've just seen. I'd also like to thank Anjanu for introducing and instituting this extraordinary award for cinematography, but also for the extraordinary legacy of innovation. We have a long association with uh, uh, Anjanu as also with Perrin Talis, and so this makes this particularly special for us. Of course, we've just heard that Cannes is the greatest film festival in the world. There is no festival, which means more to those who belong to this industry, and that is more followed, both for cinema and for couture, than Cannes anywhere in the world. Over 77 years, through history's turns, the changing world and technology's leap, Cannes Film Festival has truly been a symbol of permanence of excellence. And Khan has always had a special place in, in, for India. You have recognized and honored our best. It is here where the, some of our greatest have been discovered by the world, but it is also here where many of those dreams, young dreams, have landed softly and beautifully, and careers have, have taken off. But what Cannes is to cinema, cinema is to India. It defines us. It expresses everything about us across the diversity of our languages, culture, traditions, and millions of ways and circumstances of our lives, of 1.4 billion people. It is there everywhere, and now in one billion palms, on the cheapest data anywhere in the world. It is with us to comfort us in our sorrow, give us company in our loneliness, join us in our celebrations, and for all Indians, it has given us words and songs to express our emotions that better than we could do on our own. It has held mirror, a harsh mirror to our truths, but it has also enabled us to escape into the world of angels. And for a nation that is celebrating now 77 years of independence, nothing has captured our journey in all its hues, like cinema has. And more than us, in our profession, our cinema has been India's greatest ambassadors to the world. And as India began to change and transform in the 80s and 90s, cinema also changed. And Santosh Sivan was one of the important leaders driving that change. He erased the boundaries of genres. He transcended languages, redefined the relationship between cinema and cinematography, between camera, characters, faces, stories, situations, moods, narratives, and landscapes. It is he who has also, in a sense, 
given new vocabulary, visual expression to cinema in India in the same way that language defines and shapes novel. This is, he has of course a long list of movies he has made. It runs into a couple of pages. But the number of awards he has won will perhaps exceed the number of movies he's made. Internationally, nationally, and he is a recipient of a rare, one of those rare persons in cinematography to win our national honor, the Padma Shri. But I'm sure this is going to be something very special for you, given your love for the lens, the glass, and the camera. And we have just seen all that. Let me conclude with one anecdote from my own personal experience, and it links to the present. I was posted in Berlin in the late 1990s, and I used to go to watch movies at the Berlinale, and I found that in the panorama section, there was no movie of what we traditionally, colloquially call Bollywood, or for Hindi cinema, or movies from Mumbai. So my colleagues and I from our embassy, we went across to the organizers to speak about it. But I'll cut the long story short. The film they chose was Dilse from the heart. And that film introduced, that film introduced a young actor whose smile lit up the universe and whose performance burnt the screen. She was a symbol of love, innocence, hope, joy, a spring flower lost in a doomed embrace of a wounded soul and a fatal love. When I came out of the hall after a midnight scream screening, a German viewer who had just come out of the hall told me, this movie is operatic, existential. It is the most sublime love story. It is a painting in motion. Who else could have captured all this in one movie against the most beautiful landscape of India, the diversity of Indian landscape, and turn this also into a metaphor of the tragic story of the movie? But Santosh Sivan. But we're also pleased, it's a real pleasure to say that that young actor who was introduced in that movie, who went on to lead her own stamp on cinema and became one of the most influential stars of her generation, continues to be one besides being an entrepreneur and a sports enthusiast. Ms. Preeti Zinta is here with us today, so give her a big hand. So congratulations, congratulations, uh, Mr. Santosh Sivan. Really, really well deserved. Congratulations, Kadri Koop. I am looking forward to seeing your films. I will follow you very closely. And thank you once again to the Cannes Film Festival, to Ingenue for doing this honor, to one of our greatest, but also to celebrate Indian cinema in such a wonderful manner. Thank you very much. <laughs>